Hey everybody, it's Mike, and uh, I'm on my way right now, driving up to Canada, and uh, I've been listening to Tony Robbins on my DVD player, and I have a little message I want to share based on what I've been listening to. Now, this is, I've probably listened to this a couple times now, and it's good to hear it once in a while again, and one of the messages he has here about taking action, and it's one of the things I try to practice quite, quite a bit myself, and it's something I want to share, is that when you have something you want to go for, you need to understand your outcome. No matter what you're trying to do in life, know your outcome. So if you're going to uh, uh, try something, whether it be maybe uh, uh, maybe to get a degree, maybe it is to, uh, what are you going to do when you go over to a friend's place? Um, could be where you, whether or not, maybe you're wanting to work out at the gym. Understand what kind of outcome you want to have by doing whatever you're doing. And kind of the examples he gave was, if you go and visit, you can visit a friend's place, what's your outcome? Was it to have fun? Is it to watch a movie? Is it just to relax? By knowing your outcome beforehand, you can actually make sure that you're actually going to achieve your goals. Because no matter what you're doing, if you don't know your outcome and whatever you're trying to do, how do you know if you're really, if you've actually achieved it? So once you have that idea of what your outcome is going to be, the second thing is, is to take action. Okay, obviously, you got to start doing something. And making sure you take those steps, start moving towards your, towards your goal, towards your desired outcome. The third step is to observe what's happening. Okay. You can't just go ahead and do something without actually first observing, making sure that things are going in the direction that you want. So keep your eyes open and keep on measuring yourself and seeing if you're getting closer and closer and closer to achieve, achieving your objective. The fourth thing is to make corrections. So if you find yourself veering off target, you got to do, do small things to make whatever corrections you need to do to get yourself in the right direction. So we use the analogy of an airplane. When an airplane leaves, say to fly to uh, uh, fly to any destination, say for instance Hawaii, okay, 95% of the time that plane is off course because the wind and everything else, it's always going to be off course for most of the, for most of the journey. But with the policy, they recognize what's going on and make small corrections because they're always observing, making sure that they're heading toward their destination. So as soon as they see themselves veering off, they make a small correction. Same thing goes with anything. So if you know your outcome and you start taking action, observe it and make any corrections you need to do to make sure you stay on course. Okay? So I hope this little tip helps. I know I love listening to Tony Robbins, so I'm sure on my trip up to, uh, to Canada, I'm going to have a few more videos to share with you. But uh, uh, for now, I'll talk to you later. Bye.